In fact, behind glasses, I have one of the early, early computers. And uh, I very rarely get this out, so it's a good excuse to see. These are a number of boards, interface boards, all, all cabled together uh, with the basic, uh, I guess one of the early fourth kit boards. There's the Novix and all of its uh, static RAM. And uh, these boards collectively generated video. I know that because that's all I did with these little interface boards. And again, this is one of the motivations for putting a video coprocessor on the P21. That if you don't plan ahead for it, you can get in a real mess trying to work things up uh, afterwards. Incidentally, that's what happens with a PC. That uh, you put a what, 8086 on a board and then add interface chips around it to provide some kind of video and some kind of. Uh, and parallel buses, and you end up with a pretty jury rigged mess. At some point, you want to all the interface chips and consolidate things, and they never did that. They're trying to do it now with ASICs that handle all of the horrible I.O. processing that the PC requires, and it's, it's just a nightmare. It's, it's a rat's nest like this of uh, ad hoc jury rig. This, in some sense, is a historical uh, artifact that started this whole uh, chain of events, which is now 10 years and counting. This would no longer run because I see broken wires, but it could be made to run. It ran when it was retired. Now that die, 100 mils on the side, is equivalent to the board I showed you earlier, is equivalent to Shaboom in the other room, uh, plus being 10 times faster, 1% the cost. There's just enormous advantages to consolidating things in a single piece of silicon, providing that piece of silicon is small. The people doing this kind of thing nowadays, there's a some thumbnail for comparison have chips the size of your thumbnail. And they're large, expensive, power hungry, and unreliable, low yield. Uh, all the bad things about chips come with size. What you want is cleverness, so that you can make things small and fast, instead of large and clumsy. And they are now with uh, PC boards. The goal in what I'm trying to do is not to provide the simplest possible software or the simplest possible hardware, but the simplest possible combination of the two. And in spite of the fact that people give lip service in this industry to getting software people involved in the design of hardware, in fact, the people that do these jobs are very different and then rarely communicate with one another. So I think it's useful to let someone who's familiar with both worlds try to optimize the interface. My goal is to Starting with a human being, provide the simplest possible electronic tool for him to use. I like the seven key keyboard. That is the simplest keyboard I can imagine building or using or interfacing. A simple computer with a restricted instruction set so you don't have to work very hard to remember what instructions exist. Um, a simple interface between the computer and its memory and its uh, output devices, videos, networks, whatever. Low power, of course. Low power goes with simple. If 
fast, if the, if the computer is fast, if the software is efficient, this lets you do a lot more in software. You need to use less hardware, spend less time building hardware, hooking it up, debugging it, using power. One reliable computer. When I first started in this business building little computers in, in Manhattan Beach, my, my goal would be to take a computer I could hold in my hand and drop it in the ocean, fish it out of the ocean, and it would still be running. You want it proof against salt water. You want it proof against uh, just about anything short of a nuclear electromagnetic pulse, which I think is a hopeless problem, but other people think they can survive that kind of environment. This is a large power supply. It would be nice to run on a couple of A cells. But that's perhaps not practical. This is this if it was packaged properly with a computer about the same shape as it is, would be a quite reasonable thing to carry around in your briefcase. And it would run for a day or so.